What we're measuring in the smoke from the Cerro Palado wildfire is the same things you'd measure in any wildfire anywhere. There's no appreciable difference in risk from a wildfire burning on lab property versus a wildfire anywhere else in the world. Lionel's air monitoring program is probably the most extensive in the world. We have a series of ambient air monitoring stations that circle the lab property at, here in the town site and also farther away in nearby communities. These stations pull samples of air through a sample filter, which we then send off site for analysis. We have 25 stations that are located around the lab perimeter, and we use these stations to demonstrate compliance with the Clean Air Act. We also have additional samples that we start up if there's an emergency, or in this case, a wildfire, that we use for extra sampling that either faster turnaround or we look for special analyses of what's in the air. So the laboratory has a lot of facilities that process radioactive material. We also have remediation sites where we're cleaning up operations that date back to the Manhattan Project era. So the air monitoring program will demonstrate that there's nothing coming off the lab property to the public that would be harmful to the public. It's important to sample the air during a wildfire because during any wildfire, you will measure radioactive material in the smoke. The great, great majority of this is naturally occurring radioactive material from the soil, from trees, things like that. So there's naturally occurring radioactive material everywhere. And when vegetation burns, that goes up into the smoke. Here at the lab, there are sites where in the past we've done outdoor testing. And so there's, there might be trace residual contamination in the laboratory soil and vegetation. So if there's any fire burning across the laboratory property, we wanna make sure we're sampling that to identify those constituents as well. All the samples we take here at the lab are analyzed offsite and then uploaded to a, a publicly accessible database called Intellis NM. Within the Intellis database, you can look at the entire history of the lab's environmental sampling program, all the surveillance activities you do, whether it's water, soil, air, everything. One thing to bear in mind, we have very sensitive instruments to measure radioactive material in the environment around the lab. The levels we can measure are about a thousand times lower than any of our regulatory limits, either EPA or the state. And those limits in turn are about a thousand times below any level that would cause any harmful effects to humans. Combining those two, what we're measuring is about a million times below any levels that would cause human harm. We've never measured any radioactive material that would cause harm to the public.